Uh, my name is Amar Jyot Singh, and uh, I'm going to review the Saskatchewan nomination program, SINP program, as a layperson. So, checking the website to see if all the information is self evident and clear, and it's easy to navigate for people at least who are skilled workers and who are looking to apply through a SINP program. The SINP program is rumored and is known for some people to attract uh, people who are software engineers and IT professions. Uh, if they cannot make it in Express NT, perhaps they can come through SINP and maybe SINP will help them out. So let's take a look at the website uh, slowly and one by one. All right, so I hope you can see it well. Uh, what is an international skilled worker EOI? And EOI submission is not an application to SNP. It's a pre-application that allows you to fill an online form to indicate your interest and blah, blah, blah. It's pretty much simple. How do you create an EOI profile? You need all this information to create the profile. So, you know, you need to have all this information. Um, how the EOI system works. Your profile will be valid for one year from the date you submit this. Candidates can only have one active profile. You'll be ranked, highest rank will be invited, invitation supply, SNP electronic system, blah, blah, blah. Everything is pretty much simple, easy, easy peasy, lime and cheesy. Lime and squeezy, sorry. Uh, how EOI candidates are ranked, those who complete EOI profile automatically receive a score on the SINP point assessment grid. And what the heck is then point assessment grid? Let's take a look. I wish, uh, I hope you can see those. It's okay, good. So you need uh, at least 60 points to apply. If you have a job offer and meet the criteria, see international skill for employment offer, of course, we don't have a job offer. If you have a express entry profile, so meet the criteria express entry profile. Or if you meet the profile, but you do not have a job offer, so in occupations and demand, we'll see occupation and demand, what that is later on. So minimum 60 points, less than 60 points is not going to help. All right, so if I have a master's degree, you know, somewhere, I have 23 points, so that's fine. If I have five years experience after master's, you know, whatever, not good, uh, 2171, something. Um, your work experience must relate to the job you put in the application, one year is equal to 12 months, good, good to know. Five years, so 10, uh, five years experience, 10 plus 23 is 33. Language, I hope I have CLB7, so 33 plus, what is that? Yeah, I'm sorry, 33 plus uh, 18 is, uh, what is that? 50, 33 plus 18, uh, it's 51, okay, 51. 51 plus, uh, 51 plus 12, so 51 plus 12, so you're looking at 63, so I have 63 points. So I'm eligible, this is just a basic, right? I'm eligible to to make the profile, uh, to make the profile, okay? Uh, but as you can see, if I have 10 years experience instead of five years experience, then you know I add five more here. Uh, and if my English is higher, then it's more points here. Uh, you know, some two more points here. Uh, if I speak French, wow, then additional, uh, you know, points here, maybe six or eight, at the least, maybe four. Uh, and age, if uh, I am not, yeah, 12 this year, uh, 22 or 34 is fine. Uh, let's take a look at here. If I have a job offer from an employer, then an extra 30 points. If I have a family relative in Saskatchewan, 20 more points. Who is a family relative? A parent, a sibling, grandparent, aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, cousin, step family, or in laws of the same. Uh, so uh, they, they better be living here permanently, actually, PR, a citizen, and maybe at least for one year. Past experience in Saskatchewan, I have never lived in Canada, so I would not have this, but if I was a student and if I was working here, then five more points here for my one year. Yeah. Past student experience, if I was studying in Saskatchewan, maybe I was studying a diploma, that's why study visa people are have a little leg up on this application, you know, because they have experience now for experience points here, five and five here for diploma, something, and then they get more points. So, but minimum points, uh, you're looking at at 60, and of course, you can go all the way as much as you can, all right? 
let's take a look at, I think I have it here somewhere. So 60 points is the minimum to, to qualify and they routinely take out draw, draws. So uh, I have here, if you can see on the screen, uh, this is a chart. This was updated on December 17, uh, results of the draw. Uh, and uh, the, this the latest draw was in uh, December 17, express entry category. Yeah, next week, okay, that's fine. The score of lowest is 71. So the minimum was 60 to apply. And as you can see, if you were just barely with, uh, with master's degree, limited English, and, uh, you know, five years experience and stuff, no relatives, no study, no work offer, nothing. So you will be stuck at close to 63, 64. You'll not be able to reach at 71. So the minimum points that were required for people to be drawn was 71. Last time total candidates who were, who were drawn was 190. Let's take a look at all these NOCs. Uh, or not all NOCs are, are, are invited by the way, all right? So these are the NOCs. I don't want to go to each one of them, but I think uh, starting from, how about these guys? 2172, 2173, 2174. I think these are IT, uh, more or less IT related. So. If you had 71 points, if you can make it to 71 points, and if you had a SINP profile, most likely you would have been included for nomination into, uh, into this uh, thing. And uh, last time it was 71, and you know previous to, uh, all the occupation demand also in 71. So this is express entry uh, stream, this is occupation demand stream, 71 as well. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what else is uh, same occupations chat 2172 2173 74 74 look at this uh, December 1 74 so it's not going down uh, 71 I think just a few months ago it was a slightly less I mean look at this guy oh my god 80 yeah this this is high uh, look at this 68 so the lowest came to 68 uh, and uh, that's it. It's not going beyond. Uh, it's not going lower than 68. How do how do I get 68 points? I mean, let's uh, not do 68. Points. Let's get 71 points. Who are the people who are most likely to get 71 points? Let's take a look at back to the point system. Uh, back to the point system. I'm sorry. Where did it go? Yeah. Here. Yeah. This is my year. This. So if I have 23 points, let's uh, keep. Uh, to, uh, calculating, all right, 23 points. Uh, I need to have, you know, more experience here. Maybe if I have 10 years experience, then uh, 10 plus 5, which is 15. So 15 plus 23 is 38. So that's an ideal candidate. Let me just uh, write down, actually, if I, uh, most likely I will forget myself. So master's degree, uh, just a second. So ma master's degree 21, 10 years experience, uh, 15, 10 years experience, 15, okay, good. Uh, language, uh, if I have CLB seven, which is six, six, six each, then it's 18 points. But if I have to go higher, then I need CLB eight, which is slightly one notch higher. So just additional 20 points. Uh, I don't speak French. I don't think I want to learn French for now. Age is, uh, if I am between 22 and 34, which is, uh, which is 12 points. So on the basic scale of your 23, 15, 18, and, and 12, which is, uh, uh, what is this? Eight, it is 16, so 18, and one, three, four, five, six. Uh, the bare minimum I can reach is 68 points. The bare minimum is 68 points, and that's that's it. Um, I guess uh, I cannot go beyond 68. I may be lucky. Uh, you know, last a few months ago, if I if I were there, I would have been invited. But right now, I cannot move beyond 68. The only way that you can move is uh, let's real examine one more time. So education, I cannot get more than you know 23. Uh, experience, if I have 10 years experience, then I have 15. Wow, that's max. Uh, English, English is the key. So if I have English as CLB 8, if I have English CLB 8, then I can touch 71. Only then I can touch 71. And that is with 10 years experience. 
So what it looks like to be is, if I have 10 years experience and if I have master's degree, so here's the synopsis actually. Uh, if I have a master's degree, if I have 10 years experience, all right, and I have CLB eight, uh, no French, no French, and my age is 34. That means if I have 10 years experience, that means I would have uh, started working when I was 24 or so, or like 23 or 24. So that is, that is how I can go to 71. Otherwise, there's absolutely no other way uh, to go to 71 unless I speak French or maybe uh, that's it. Uh, you, you, are, you are stuck at, stuck at there. So it requires 10 years experience uh, and high, high enough English. Uh, I don't have a job offer. I don't have a family relative or like a family relative, no, no previous experience, nothing. Only then I can go to uh, 71. Otherwise, nah, it's not going to happen. That is why it is very important for people who are considering uh, studying like a study visa for a master's degree or PG diploma, something to, to come to Saskatchewan instead of Ontario or BC, Alberta, somewhere to study there for at least one year diploma. And that would give you, uh, where did I go? I'm sorry. And that would give you extra five points right here. Yeah, that will give you extra five points. And that would easily put you, instead of two, you know, that would put you about around uh, 73 points or so, 68 plus five, yeah. That will easily put you 73 points. So I think that could have been uh, nice. And, you know, this is just a skill class, but you will also, if you have a job offer, most likely you will be working somewhere. Uh, if you have a job offer, that would put you 30 points there, uh, right here. So it will, it will easily be, uh, it is it would be easily qualifying uh, for SINP if you actually study and if you have some kind of job offer or a job experience in Saskatchewan so it would be very easy otherwise I don't see any of the, any other realistic way to drag this uh, forward so that's what I wanted to uh, show you let me show you something else um, what is occupation in demand let's see if I can show you on the screen what is occupation in demand? All right, here we have here. Uh, what is the occupation in demand? It is showing here. Uh, occupation, yeah, occupation in demand. All right, so I'm just going to open that more PDF. Uh, uh, it's like a tabs here. So let's see if we can open fine. Occupations in demand, occupations in demand. Uh, do I have to download something here? I mean, come on. Uh, I think maybe this is it. Oh, download is good, it's okay. I don't want to download something, but maybe I can see it from here. Oh, here it is. Professional, uh, uh, you probably need some kind of uh, license from there. Let's see if I can download this. You have to, oh, download. Man, Let's see if I can, uh, just a minute. All right, I, you can see here, I had to download all this. Uh, so SNP requirements related to professional, professional status or licensure. Uh, for some occupation, they require for you to get those, uh, you know, certifications there to qualify. So if you are an engineer, then you have to go to Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Saskatchewan, even I think computer engineers also, 2173 also, you have to go here uh, to showing that your application for engineering training has been approved. So, you know, that's something that you must do, uh, must do in advance. I think if you are planning to, uh, planning to apply for SINP, software designers must go to something called a CIPS, Canadian Association of Information Technology. Oh, I, wow. Alberta does not have something like this. I don't know why SINP, how, how did they come up with something like this? But trade occupations, yes, I'm not worried about trade occupations. I'm just going to jump to IT. Where the hell is IT? Account education, no, we don't need that. Account agriculture, uh, architects, yeah, uh, land survey, here it goes. Software engineers 2173, 742175. Provide documentation from Canadian Association of Information Technology professionals showing that your membership 
it a itp isp blah 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 so who are these people you must get this all this uh, only then they will take your uh, and your your degree uh, must be at least minimum three years here in computer science information it blah 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 or something so this is not ingenious for engineers you have to go with the one which is on the uh, on the top so let's take a look at who are these people canadian association of information technology everything is an association here you go cips saskatchewan so you must uh, apply here yeah click here for oh here it goes SINP. click here was well, ready <laughs> uh, let's take a look at frequently asked questions uh, so everything should be here how do I become a member? How do I build Google International? Everything is right here. I don't want to read everything, but maybe just few here and there. Let's see. How do I become a member? How do I IT professional? Which uh, what is the membership fees? Yeah, there's a fees always. Uh, it's valid for one year. It's okay, they can apply for SINP. Uh, recent graduate IT professionals, applicants with both IT and IT experience, one degree ISP. Uh, you can apply here with business experience ITCP. Uh, it's a course on certification exam to talk with IT experience only. There's no examination. Yeah. Uh, wow. Do I need to prior to applying to years? I do you have to become a member for us? This is, I think, money grab. They want to make some money through this. Payment can be made. Uh, yeah. Do I need to make a course? Okay. Uh, form. So everything is right here. International app. Yes, IT professionals from also Canada can become a member. Of course, uh, yes, IT experience, experience uh, references, everything is right here. So, hey, this is what you need to do. If you want to go to Saskatchewan, you must apply for becoming a license here, whatever that is, you know, it just, uh, and then maybe there are jobs here. Oh, let's take a look if there are jobs here. Are there jobs, IT jobs in Saskatchewan, let's take a look. I'll be damned if there are jobs. There are jobs. There are some jobs. Senior debt, dot net, manager infrastructure, chief IT, whatever, city of Red Deer. There are some jobs here posted two days ago. Hey, if you're looking for <laughs> maybe a job offer, that's it's a good idea to apply for membership at CIPS and at the same time, uh, maybe, uh, maybe just. Uh, Try a luck in, in applying for some kind of jobs, you know, uh, maybe some junior level jobs, senior director level job, computer programming instructors. Oh, this is in Toronto. Uh, you don't want to go to Toronto. We are looking in, in Saskatchewan only. PG. Oh, this is all over. This is not only just Saskatchewan, this is everywhere. So in Saskatchewan, there's only one job. I don't think there are many IT industry in Sask Saskatoon, Saskatoon, there's a couple of just two. So there are some jobs here and there, but hey, look, recent experience, two years in the past and certified professional, wow, yeah. So apply before this. But there are some jobs, uh, in, there are few jobs in Saskatchewan, not many, but you know, you can go to this website and search for jobs everywhere. Look, look at this job in BC, Red Deer, Alberta, oh yeah. Toronto, Sydney, Nova Scotia. Oh, you don't want to be chief in Bahamas is a salary. I don't know. Calgary, Dutton, for these are very high senior level jobs. I don't think you can get that easily. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, there's something. But uh, nonetheless, say hey, uh, become a member here, and uh, you know that's all. That's all you have to do to get going to the uh, the you know SINP success for S for. Uh, for your express entry. So this is what it is. Finding job, employment, I don't want to waste my time there, of course. So download excluded occupation. Uh, people with follow excluded occupation manager, what is it, not, what is it not, uh, which are these occupations which are excluded? Let's take a look. All right, so man, another download, okay. Now download, download. Uh, how many downloads are you looking at here? Oh, here you go. These are the occupations which are excluded from express entry and occupation demand. What are these occupations? Yes. Oh, nobody's coming at senior positions. Fire tree. I don't think people are coming. Finance, oh, financial auditors are not allowed. Oh my God. Okay. I got that. 
financial writers, okay, who else, uh, physicists, astronomers, policy, petroleum engineers, look at this. Oh, they don't need one. Uh, air pilots, yeah, who, who, which air pilot will go to Saskatoon? I don't know. Or dentists, veterinarians, they're not needed. Wow, look at this. Uh, I'm really surprised, actually, they are, uh, oh, you probably need a job offer to go in a different category, not, not in, not in express entry uh, category 2171, yes. So these are the occupations where uh, they are not allowed. They are excluded from occupations in demand. Wow. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of them, a lot of them. Uh, <clears throat> these occupations may be eligible through international skilled worker employment offer and Saskatchewan work experience. Yes, if you were a dentist and those physician categories, if you were working there, and if you had work experience, you could qualify from there, or you can qualify from a job offer if you had one. So without the job offer, without experience in this, you know, this is not an occupation demand. So you could not use this. If you were a dentist or something, you could not have express entry profile and sneak into SINP through this because this occupation is not included. They are not eligible for these subcategories. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. All right, so this is what it is. And so what did we learn today? You got to have 10 years experience. You got to have high English. Uh, uh, and, um, and that's a master's degree in less than 34H. And that's how you will make the cut in the, in the SINP. Otherwise, uh, SINP and, uh, you know, will not happen. This is, the, this is the website where you can become a licensing member if you are applying to 2173 in that, in that you know, NOC code. So everything is pretty much clear though. You can, uh, you can apply here. Uh, this is an occupation demand. Um, $350 application fees. Yes, of course. Uh, 60 points minimum, but you know, the cutoff is going at 68, 69, 71. Language score of okay, that's fine. Uh, education, fine. Work experience, fine. Minimum one ex experience at the least. Uh, work experience must be related to occupation, and you need to provide a proof of professional status, uh, which is what we saw in in computers, you know, CIPC certification, and a full proof of registered fund. So that's what it is. Um, and that's, and that is it. Uh, that's all it is. How to apply. Everything is online. Click, click, click. You apply, apply online to SNP and then, you know, that's it. So that's all it is guys. Uh, I hope, uh, you could get some, some benefit out of all this today is master's degree. You got to have master's degree with the bachelor's of computer science or BCA or something. It will not happen. Minimum master's degree, minimum 10 years of experience, high enough English, maybe CLB 8, that's what you're looking at. Um, age, less than 34. If you are more than 34, then of course you reduce those points here. And uh, that's it. Uh, so you got to have not 60, all right? You, you got to have not 60, you got to have 69, 70, 71 points to, to make the cut in that NOC course. So that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for your time. I hope to see your uh, uh